Hey everybody, it's Cricket. My goodness, it's been a while since I've done a video, hasn't it? I do want to apologize for that, but uh, it's mostly just because I ran out of material. <laughs> it's just I felt like everybody <clears throat> had already done everything that I'd wanted to talk about, you know, ten times over, pretty much. And I don't really want to beat a dead horse, so to speak. Anyway, this video uh, is about my new altar. Um, for those of you have s who have seen my other videos, you'll know that I have had my uh, temporary altars, or my um, <clears throat> uh, mobile altars, I suppose you could say. But uh, finally, I've put one up that is stationary. I've been wanting one for quite some time, but just never really got around to it. Um, this I'm actually going to be posting on my blog, specifically for my blog, which you can find... Yeah, I'll put it right there. I'll put it right there. Just click that. And, uh, so yeah. I guess we'll start the tour. First off, we will start the one that I am most in tune with, which is water. This is my water representation, little otter. This is given to me by my mother, Iris Stone. And uh, I actually had him up um, next to my little fish, my uh, betas. And uh, figured he would be a perfect little representation for water on my altar. Uh, next is my earth representation. These you've probably seen from my other videos, if you've seen my other videos. Um, it's the stone egg and the uh, mesquite bean that is all twisted and awesome looking. Um, and then I have my, I probably have this in my other videos as well. Um, this is my, uh, what's the word cord? Oh, and of course I can't think of the word. Boline, or boline, or however you want to say it. I say boline. I do have my athame, and I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, this is my air, of course. I've got my incense. i got my feathers. And over here I have my fire. This is a, uh, um, a lava, piece of a lava rock that I'd found. My candle. My little stone that I actually found... Um, actually picked up on my very, very first outside ritual, and it was specifically to hold the fire candle because I was in sand and, and, and nothing was really standing up very well. Got my god and my goddess candles. Got my little sachet with, um, I've got eucalyptus leaves in there for protection. I've got uh, dandelion root for um, divination, clarity, and I've got lavender in there for peace and happiness. So that's my little divination sachet. And then this was, this has actually been in here since my very first video, I believe. Um, it's my itty bitty little mortar and pestle. Cute little thing, but I use it for making my incense that is not on a stick. Alright, now for the other stuff. So this is kind of off in the corner. Got some blades and my nice big eucalyptus wand that I still need to work on. And then I've got my Ainsley. He's in his little hidey hole. Down below. So I'm like right next to it. I don't really have much space. But it works. Down below, I have my athame. I have my other wand, the very first wand I ever made, the one that my rats, now gone of course, decided to chew on. <sighs> Lighter. Oh, and the salt, or the little specks here are sea salt. This was from when I had consecrated and clear, uh, purified the space not too long ago. 
things are falling. And I've got this box, which is full of herbs and candles that are down there somewhere. Yep, there we go. So, herbs that I used in the sachet and will be using in incense and things. And I'm not going to pull this thing all the way up because it's huge. And that's more incense and herbs and things. So those are the things that I would use fairly regularly. Um, I don't have a cauldron or any of that just because it wouldn't really, I mean, I, I guess I could fit it on here, but it would just look extremely cluttered. Same reason I don't have my athame and wand up here. Um, although I do also have my working candle down here um, for when I make things like the little sachet. Um, I'm also going to be making a, a rune cloth pretty soon here. Another thing I've been wanting to do. Anyway, that's my little tour of my new solid, my new uh, stationary, and I suppose you could say permanent for however long it stays permanent, uh, altar. Alright. Anyway, um, as far as the seasons and things, I'll probably just make a little wreath to go around my pentacle of whatever different uh, plants the, the particular season has. Probably silk ones so I can continue to use them year after year. Anyway, that's my new altar. I hope you all enjoyed seeing it. And uh, I'll talk to you when I talk to you, I suppose. Come check out my blog. Um, it was inspired by this video here by Tiptoe Chick. I'll click on that right there. Go check check out Tiptoe Chick if you have not yet. She is awesome. She has awesome stuff. Anyway, blessed be, and uh, have a nice day.